for visiting carcrazycentral.com. You're still at your desk, but we brought you to Springfield, Missouri for the Mid-America Street Rod Nationals. Thanks for logging in. Here we are at the Street Rod entrance, giving you a look at the variety of cars that are coming to today's show. Here's proof not everyone puts a Chevy small block in them. I'm here with Jim Rollette. We saw him back in Knoxville and now we're in Springfield. Jim, what are we gonna see that's different here today? Oh, I tell you, just a lot of great cars from this area of the country. We had uh, 2,257 come and uh, great event. And I noticed there's some duplicity, so some people are going to more than one event, right? Oh yes, we have people that uh, follow the events around. In the last couple of years, we've had people that have gone to every event during the year. And do you track uh, who comes the furthest to come to these events? We do have a long distance. Uh, they have to register at the uh, NSRA booth, and uh, the one that comes the furthest gets a, a special recognition at the award ceremony. We have several different awards. Uh, we have PPG gives uh, outstanding use of color. We do those awards. Uh, Buckaroo Publications does our uh, pros pick, so we have those cars and our reps and safety guys also pick cars while they're here this weekend. Jim, I heard someone's going to walk away from here with an HHR. Tell us about that and some of the other prizes they're giving away. That's part of our super prize program. Every event that we do, we do 13 events around the country. Each event we give $104,000 worth of merchandise to participants at the event. And at 12 of the events, the divisional ones, we give an HHR. So uh, everybody's excited to be at the awards time, not only the awards winners, but also the folks that are in the drawing for the Super Prize. Thanks for sharing your time with us, Jim. We look forward to a great show. Thank you, we appreciate you being here. really want a 68 Camaro. This one needs a little work, but I think it's going to do. Certain cars will really grab your attention for different reasons. This one, clearly the paint job. I'm here with Nathan and Tony who have built this car. Nathan, who painted it and how long did it take? We probably worked on it hard about two weeks to do all the paint and uh, all the clear. And it, it looks like it took years to put the paint on the car. What about the uh, the car itself? How long did it take to build that? Uh, the actual car to build took about six months. The, one of the hard things about building the car after certain modifications was the paintwork because we had to assemble the car five times to get the flames to line up from panel to panel and then go into the inside of the car in the jams and dash. Okay, and what do you got under the hood? Uh, it's a 454, built pretty strong. The drivetrain, automatic, four speed? 700 R4. A lot of horsepower under the hood, how do you stop it? Will with disc brakes all the way around, plenty of stopping power. Nathan, this is your dad, right? Uh, yes, sir. How did the two of you get into uh, building cars together? Oh, I've been around it all my life. I was sleeping under 69 Camaros on creepers and diapers. And it, I mean, I've been around it all my life and just, you know, love my father, love my family, and um, just wanted to stay by them and love doing what we do. Um, Nathan grew up uh, from a very early age. As soon as he could pick up a pencil, he was drawing. Well, that continued to evolve. And then uh, when he was about 12, he started airbrushing and I've built cars uh, full-time for 18 years. And so I was airbrushing a little bit, but when he started, he really grabbed on quick. And from about the time he was 14 on, he's done all our airbrush work. I'll do the fabrication and paint work and stuff, and then he'll go do all the artwork. 
and it just worked out as a great team. He can do something to the car that I can't, and I can do stuff to the car that he can't, and it just works out great. Yeah, it absolutely came together beautifully on this car. I can't believe the interior is not what you're considering not done yet. It's a stunning car, and I can't let you go without asking you what I ask everybody. Will you fire it up for us? Uh, you could probably talk us into that. <laughs> That was awesome. Thanks for firing it up for us. I think that's the first 454 we got to listen to today. Thanks for showing it to us. You bet. Thank Love you. It. Thank you. I'm here with Tom Wilkerson. He's in charge of the safety inspections at NSRA. Tom, tell us a little bit about what you do here. Our program is to come in and look cars over from top to bottom. We don't critique cars, paint jobs, interiors. We're looking here just for safety features on cars that might keep our membership off the side of the road. So we'll look at these cars starting from the frame, the front ends, the rear ends, the carburetors, the neutral safety switches, parking brakes, just to make sure that our members and their families are going to be safe going down the highway. The recommended features are, are, are things like a fire extinguisher, uh, a third brake light, but right now, you know, most people are adding those those features, the extra things, without us even making them a required feature, which is a good thing. They're, they're pretty much doing it themselves right now. Right, so you're taking care of what uh, wasn't part of the auto world uh, 50, 60 years ago, and these are obviously on a lot of today's cars. Uh, are some of these cars just blowing away your expectations when they come in here, in here and have far more safety uh, requirements than necessary? Well, you know, some people are fanatics, but you know, I think it's a matter of pride to put a car together and to be able to come here and, and pass all 23 and get one of our stickers. All of our awards are based on, on these stickers. That's what this whole program is based on. We reward the people that do a really good job with their safety. And I can't help but notice that a lot of these cars are running with an awful lot of horsepower. Are you looking at the tires for a minimum tread? We do look for minimum tread, that's exactly right. And we, and we want a DOT approved tire, so you couldn't pass a safety inspection without it being a DOT tire approved. Excellent. Yep. Thank you so much for spending some time you with us, Tom. Now we know a little bit more about what it takes to make a safe street ride. If you need something, you come and see us. Thanks. We're always here. I'm here with uh, Steve Anderson with GM Performance. A lot of guys are putting small block Chevys in their old Fords and Chevys. Uh, it's, a, it's probably, it's gotta be the most popular engine at the show. Tell us a little bit about the crate engines here today. Yes, we have motors starting at 350, 290 horse, which is your base, you know, for the beginner who wants just to get into it, just to get around town, nice motors. And we go in the small block up to our 383, 425 horse motor, which is a great, motor for a street rod or like a vet or something like that that we go into our LS series motors which are the newer motors that they run in the new Corvettes and we run them from the stock LS1, LS2, LS6 up to the new LS7 505 horsepower motor and then we go into the big blocks. If I go to 425 horse what kind of things are you changing that aren't in the uh, base model? Uh, well everything's different from the pistons to the cam to the it's got a stroke crank in it, better heads, Basically, the whole motor is different. The only thing basically is the same as the block. And maybe run a little higher compression? Um, very little bit, yes, because we try to keep the compression down because you got to stay under 9.6 to keep it for street and regular gas. We try to keep away from race gas. The only way we've been race gas is our race 572. Okay, and you have a race 572 here with us today? Yes, we do. I'm not going to leave without letting you fire it up for us. Well, let's go. If I'm ever not smiling, all you got to do is fire up a 572 Chevy Big Block. I'm Donnie. And I'm Brian. And, and we're, we're car crazy. crazy! It's hot here in Springfield. I thought it might be a little cooler over by the blowers. It's not. 
Thanks for visiting us at CarCrazyCentral.com. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the fabulous cars here in Springfield, Missouri. And we even fired a few up for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Some of the prize winners are in the background, but the fields were full of beautiful cars. We can't fit them all up here on stage. Stop back because we're going to bring you more great events. Or you can always log on to the community and look at some of the great cars. Talk to the owners there. If you need information, want to share information, it can all be done on the community. I'm Tommy Darrell. Thanks for visiting CarCrazyCentral.com. Oh, 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 oh,